Now, this is a real assumption. Well, this could happen to you. Oh, let's give you an example. Let's just take, uh, it don't matter who in the room here, uh, take Michael Bridges. If I walk in Michael Bridges' house right now, and let's say I came in and he was in the kitchen, and when I walked in the kitchen, Mike had the noni bottle juice to his mouth, turned it up. He turned it up. When he saw me, he finished it, threw it in the garbage can, and he said, what's up, man? I said, what's up, Mike? Now, the next time I come over to Mike's house, I want a new bottle of juice. <laughs> right? Right? Huh? Uh, uh, I mean, wouldn't you? All right. But watch this. Now, that's an assumption. Mike, when he pulled the bottle out, I wasn't there. It was that much left. So why get a clean glass to pull that in there, wash the glass out, like Shelly said, and put it in a dish where I got to do all that work? I'm saying, I can't leave it in the sink. I got to put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> I just turn up that little corner, throw it away. That don't mean Mike drank out the bottle. It was just that was the last corner. He threw it away. Now, my assumption is that he does that when the bottle is full. You know what I'm saying? And that could be the furthest from the truth. And so we have a lot of those things out here, man. And so people start assuming. People have assumptions, they have accusations, and all this stuff start going on. And you, you trying to build a business, you get into the J position, you get to the pearl, all of a sudden all that stuff, like I told, when I, when I talk about this a lot, you know, when you raise your head above the crowd, that's when the tomatoes start. You know what I'm Because when you below the crowd, can't nobody hit you. I mean, if you down here, as <laughs> soon as you start climbing a little bit, they got a target now, don't they? That go one right there. <laughs> and so when you below the crowd, you don't get a lot of this stuff. That's why I say that's number three. As you start climbing, it starts to come in. You know, and you think about it, man. It's a lot of stuff out here that people assume. And I'm saying you got to make sure that you are not a part of that. You know, like I said, I'm not, I'm a part of this, and I'm learning, and I'm doing, I'm doing my best to be a better person when it comes to that phase. Because a lot of times, emotionally, you get, you get excited, you start thinking, and you just kind of run with it before you ever get all the information. All right, what was that, number three? All right, number four, close to it, conspiracies. Webster said that's a plot against you, can be for an evil purpose, to conspire, and it says to lie. You, you, you know, you at, you at Pearl, maybe at Diamond now, you're climbing up. You could be, at, you know, even at a lower level. Start talking to people outside the business, they start running, then you start meeting them. Man, look, did you know, I heard your company about to file bankruptcy. Either they filed or they're about to. I ain't sure. One of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They pull you to the side and tell you that. I mean, I know it's a good company, but that's about to happen. I don't know which one. I ain't sure, but either y'all already filed or you about to file. <laughs> I ain't calling any names, but it's some people from your company about to come over to our company. And they calling our company right now. I ain't calling no names though, but it's happening. You know, top people. You sitting there thinking, ooh. You know your product ain't approved by the FDA. And you can get in a lawsuit, not the company, you. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a lawsuit. It ain't FDA approved. And then you ask them what the FDA stands for. I don't, I don't know. 
<laughs> and I heard they were going out of business. You know the guy? You know the guy that you're working with? That dude a crook. Straight up, man, real talk. <laughs> that dude is a crook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you, man. My boy, one of my boys, one of his boys, his cousin brother knew him. <laughs> you know the big kind of company? They gave him some volume. They ain't gave you nothing. You know what I'm talking about, big guy. You know what I'm I got all them cars, Lamborghinis. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you got all them cars, you know. When he see, he went out there first before everybody else. And they hooked him up then. Because <laughs> some people at the top got some extra stock options. You don't have no stock, do you? <laughs> we. <laughs> Manipulation and intimidation. It getting in your head. So imagine now, imagine now you've gotten through the ridicule. You're dealing with the fear as you go along. You got the accusations and assumptions, not a conspiracy. And it's all piling on. I mean, they're doing a, what, the four finger, what's that thing, the wrestling, when they, four finger lock or something, when they hold you down. <laughs> and you can't move, you pin. So, and they got you like that now. And you're trying to figure out what's going on. But I'm just telling you, you're going to have to go through these phases because it's going to happen to you in business. It don't have to be this business. You can have a, a chain of restaurants, and they can start saying stuff about that. You know, you know, you know, you know Walmart about to go into the restaurant business. They're going to buy out all the chains. <laughs> you, you know they got the money. You know they can do it. They're going to buy them all out. I wouldn't buy another one if I were you. You know, so all that, you just got to keep, you know, Keep marching, you know, keep stepping. I know, because they, they're going to be shooting that at you. That's number four, right? All right. Number five. Distraction. These bullets are flying now. Webster says distraction is derangement, frenzy, diversion. You're going to start discussing your personal problems and finances with your teammates. They start getting distracted. You try to work two, three different companies at the same time. Some of y'all don't move. Because I know some of y'all been in the company about four years. You've probably been working three, four of them at the same time since you've been in. So y'all ain't moving. Everybody still. <laughs> so I got this travel card over here. This one here got some insurance benefits. You know, this one here is just like, you know, just like insurance, but you, you, it ain't insurance, but just like insurance. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> so, you know, used to have some prepaid phone cards. Ain't none of this got to do with the juice, because see, I'm still going to drink the juice. That's known. I'm still going to drink the juice. That's all fine. But this work with that, and this work with that, and this work with that. <laughs> Distraction. You're confused. You go do a presentation one-on-one. -on -one. You're supposed to be a, for the phone call. You mess around, bring your known presentation. <laughs> <laughs> You start talking about knowing and the guy said, wait a minute, you told me on the phone about phone calls. <laughs> oh, did I? Oh, shoot, man. Well, let me tell you about this anyway. 